Itan guys, welcome back for yet another video. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Guru. Guru means... Gu means darkness, Ru means uh, the dispeller. So Guru basically refers to um, the action of moving from darkness to light, from ignorance to enlightenment. So that is the purpose of Guru. That is the purpose of why somebody would want to uh, choose and surrender to a Guru in your life. It is for the process of from darkness to light, from ignorance to enlightenment to happen in your life. So that is, that is the purpose of the Guru. So the Guru, because he has experienced, if it is an authentic Guru, obviously, if he has experienced the ultimate, he knows and he can allow that ultimate to happen in you. So the context to experience Guru should be a strong yearning, thirst, seeking for experiencing disillusion, for experiencing light, for experiencing love, for experiencing oneness, for experiencing powerfulness, for experiencing the ultimate, for experiencing Paramashwata, and I can go on and go on. And um, all these things ultimately, they lead you to the same space. And the Guru is there for that. He is there to um, respond to your space at the right time and moment for you to have the click, the cognitive shift, the conscious breakthrough that you need to um, elevate yourself. Recently, Swamji, uh, keeps uh, sharing about the vertical time zones in today's satsang he was sharing that um, every time you have a cognitive shift or a strong powerful cognition blossoms in you you basically raise yourself on the vertical in the vertical time zones towards kailasha which is the ultimate space from bhu bhua swa tapa uh, vaikuntha kailasha all are different spaces um, that are more and more aligned to consciousness where Kailasha is a space of pure consciousness and you raise yourself, uh, you raise your frequencies and establish yourself in different spaces uh, by getting these clicks, these powerful cognitions, this cognitive shift to happen. So that is where uh, the, the, the role of the Guru is very important. There's also many things is that as we raise from where we are towards Kailasha, there's also different moments where we experience bliss and we kind of decide to stagnate there and the responsibility of the Guru is to make sure that the disciple does not stay there so that he can continue his journey towards the experience of the superconsciousness, the space of Kailasha. So Swamiji is there for that. He is there to guide us, to show us um, how to move beyond all these lokas, all these spaces for us to establish ourselves permanently into the space of Kailasha. So that is um, another powerful cognition I wanted to share with you about the Guru-Disciple relationship. Remember, the Guru is the dispeller of darkness, the dispeller of ignorance in your life. And it is definitely the most auspicious, the most cherishable, the most amazing and the most glorious relationship that you can have in your life because in the, the output of this relationship will be extremely uh, fulfilling and uh, yes, fulfilling in your life because the only purpose of Guru is to give you that experience. He does not want anything from you other than your decision, your surrender, your decision to, um, to drop the patterns um, and to surrender. Other than that, he only wants to give that experience onto you. So that is, um, that is another powerful cognition. So with this, I'll see you guys in another episode in tomorrow's uh, video. Nitya